gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Math Circus! Introducing Cookie Clown, who will never let you down! Introducing Dumbbell Bay, who lived in a cave! Introducing Mr. Mad Mystic, who's always so optimistic. So, sit down, take a seat, pay attention, and welcome once again to the Mad Circus. And now, marvel at the strength of Dumbbell Dave, the strong man who will always behave. <laughs> this game might be a challenge, so let's work hard. And now, here is Kooky Clown, the clown with the upside down frown. Hello, everybody. I want to play a math game. How about you? Well, the game, you will be able to write an addition number sentence to go with a picture and write a subtraction number sentence to go with a picture. This is going to be super fun. Let's get started. Today, we are going to be learning about addition and subtraction. So, what does the word addition mean? When I say I am adding something, what am I doing? Oh, very good. I am taking two groups of things and I'm putting them together. Fantastic. So, we're going to need a picture. So, who do we call? Say it with me. Dumbbell Dave. <laughs> Look at these daisies! Aren't they pretty? Well, how many daisies are there on this plant? That's right! And how many daisies are on the other one? Really good! So, there are six daisies on the first plant and five daisies on the second plant. How many daisies are there all together? Remember, if we're putting things together, then we are adding them. That's right! There are 11 daisies all together. So, for this next bit, you're going to need your whiteboards and your whiteboard markers. So if you haven't gotten them yet, go and get them, go and get them, go and get them. Okay, you have them? Fantastic. I want you to use these numbers to make an addition number sentence. Write it on your whiteboard. Remember, you need to use these numbers. You're probably going to want to use a plus somewhere. And maybe even an equals. Did you write it? What number sentence did you write? Really good! 6 plus 5 equals 11. Now, if you wrote 5 
plus 6 equals 11, that's fine too. Because we know that when you are adding, it doesn't matter which way the numbers are going. So, what do the numbers and the signs mean in this number sentence? Well, the six means six daisies. The plus means you're putting something together. The five means, well, the five daisies. So the plus means we're taking six daisies, we're taking five daisies and we're putting them together. What about the equals? What does that mean? That's right. It means the same as. And the 11 is how many daisies there are all together. So, we could read this as six daisies put together with five daisies is the same as 11 daisies. Isn't that fantastic? So too. Are you ready for another one? Now we're going to talk about subtraction. When I say subtraction, what do I mean? What are you doing if you are subtracting one number from the other? That's right. You are taking the small number and taking that away from the big number. Another way of saying that would be you're finding the difference. You could also work out a subtraction by counting from the small number to the big number. You could also count backwards. There's lots of different things you can do for subtraction. But the thing to remember is that in subtraction, you start with a big number and you finish with a smaller number. Okay? So, we don't have our picture yet. So you know what that means? Ready? Here we go. Dumbbell Dave! <laughs> I love doing that! Ooh. Ooh! Look! We have another plot with daisies! How many daisies are there on the plot? That's right, there are 12. Now, some of the daisies are going to fall down. How many daisies fell down? Very good. Four daisies fell down. So, how many daisies are left on the plant? Very good. Eight. Now it's time to use your whiteboard and your whiteboard marker again. Do you have them? Fantastic! So use the numbers that we've just worked out and write a subtraction number sentence to show what happened here. Remember, there were 12 daisies to start with and then four fell on the ground. You're going to want to use those numbers. You're probably going to want to use a subtraction sign and an equals to show it properly. Did you manage? All right, how'd you do? 12 take away 4 is 8. How fantastic! Could you do it the other way? take away 12? Of course not. How clever you are. You re 
remembered that we can't do that in subtraction. Well done! So, what do each of the numbers and signs in this number sentence mean? Well, 12 is how many daisies we started with. The subtraction sign means how many daisies are falling, how many are going away. Four is how many are going away. Then we have the equals. Remember, the equals means the same as. And then eight is how many were left. So, if we were going to read this number sentence in words, we would say four, 12 daisies, some went away, four went away, so 12 daisies and four go away is the same as eight daisies. How fantastic! Oh! Dumbbell Dave, can you make this picture go away now please? <laughs> That's so much fun! Well, I had a great team! I had a great time doing this game. I hope you did too. <laughs> Guys, you worked so hard. I'm so proud of you. Well done. Unfortunately, the math circus has come to an end. But come again.